Hi, my name is Krista Sylvan, and I'm currently studying chemistry at the University of Texas at San Antonio. Today I'll be showing you some demonstrations you can use to emphasize eyewear safety in a classroom. These demonstrations correlate to TEK C1A, which relate to safe practices during lab and field investigations. Today we will focus specifically on eye safety with three demonstrations, denaturing an egg, contact simulation, and well-fitting goggles. The three demonstrations will allow students to visualize the importance of eyewear when participating in labs. Let's look at the materials we will need for each demonstration. For the egg demonstration, you'll need a petri dish, an egg, a pipette, and a strong acid. I will be using concentrated sulfuric acid. For the contact simulation, you'll need one to two sheets of transparency paper, a white sheet of paper, permanent markers, water, and food coloring. For the well-fitting goggles demonstration, you'll need a pie tin or plate, shaving cream, and some form of secondary containment. As always, personal protective equipment should always be used. Suggested PPE for these demonstrations includes goggles, gloves, a lab coat, and closed-toed shoes. Please note that you will be handling a high concentration of sulfuric acid, so use caution if allowing students to participate. For the first demo, we will be using an egg to simulate an eye's cornea to visualize how our eyes react in the presence of a strong acid or base. Start off with a petri dish. If you want to add to the visual, you can draw an eye on the bottom of a paper plate, crack your egg into the petri dish. Try not to break your egg yolk. Ask your students to observe the egg whites. Students should observe the clarity of the egg whites. This is similar to the transparency of an eye's cornea. You can take this time to ask students to make predictions about how the egg will react with the acid. Next, place a few drops of your strong acid onto the egg whites. Ask students to update their observations. Note how the clarity changed and briefly explain that the egg's proteins have been denatured or destroyed. It is important for students to understand that this is a permanent process and cannot be reversed. The second demonstration on why contact lenses cannot be worn in a lab ties together well with the egg denaturing demonstration. This will allow students to visualize how a contact lens can trap materials between the lens and their eye. Before starting the demonstration, cut out a round piece of transparency film to represent the contact lens. Additionally, you should either use a separate sheet of transparency paper or a laminated drawing of an eye. If you're using the transparency sheets, you may need a sheet of paper underneath to allow students to see the eye. Lightly wet the eye with water to create a thin film of moisture similar to your eye. Then place your contact lens over the iris. Don't press too hard on the lens to ensure a layer of moisture remains underneath. Place a few drops of food coloring on the edge of the contact lens and ask students to observe how the color spreads. You may allow students to suggest how to get the color out from beneath the contact lens. This may include blotting with a paper towel, rinsing with more water, and removing the contact and repeating the above. Guide students through a discussion on how much time it takes to remove the color from the eye and discuss how important it is to get any compound spilled from your eye as quickly as possible to prevent long-term damage.
The last demonstration showcases the importance of using well-fitting goggles when participating in labs. When doing this demo, make sure you're wearing a lab coat and bring a spare shirt in case of spills. Load up a pie tin or styrofoam plate with shaving cream. Explain to your students how the shaving cream represents a chemical spill and will allow them to safely see how goggles can protect their eyes. When ready, allow another teacher to pie you in the face. After getting pied, carefully remove the goggles to allow students to see how well the goggles protected your eyes from the shaving cream. And those are a few demos you can use to cement eye safety for your students. Thank you for watching.